hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it is the day day j and if you are new here welcome this is the place to be if you love great style and mental wellness slash growth and things of that nature so today we are going to be talking about how I found my personal style and how I continue to build off of it because personally I feel like it's a never ending journey when you are into style and wanting to continue to improve it and add to it. I feel like my style journey truly started when I was 14. I always loved fashion since I was about eight years old. I watched Shake It Up a lot and I loved the way Zendaya dressed on there and that's how I used to try to dress when I was little. Um, going into middle school, I wore uniforms um, for three years straight during middle school so I didn't have much time to experiment with my style during then. But once I hit high school, I didn't have any more uniforms, thank God, and that was when I was around 14, and that's when I really began getting into style and learning what I really liked and didn't like. Now, when I first started my style journey, I truly felt like I was too broke to have any good style. I felt like you had to be rich or at least have some type of money to look good, and I quickly found out that really wasn't the case. You don't need a lot of money to look nice and put together. A lot of the reasons why people buy designer things that are a lot of money is because of the material as well as just the brand name on it and for the hype honestly like i'm gonna be honest you can truly shop at walmart and target and walk out with a great outfit looking put together looking nice like truly i believe that but i do also believe you have to watch out for those stores um, when it comes to quality and everything like that and how long those pieces can actually stay in your closet kind of where i was when i was 14 i would say fast forward to 2020 um i was how old was i in 2020 i was 15 about to turn 16 right when the pandemic hit and around that time like trends were moving so rapidly like a trend would come about and then a few weeks later it would be dead like nobody would like that trend anymore and it was just getting so overwhelming for me and that was just my first that was kind of my first time noticing like wow like trends are real like so honestly at this point I didn't know what I truly liked because I was seeing so many different things. I didn't know what was true to me. I was honestly liking everything I saw on Instagram and TikTok because I thought it was cool. I felt like as soon as I started liking a trend and I would buy it, it would be considered outdated or like lame to wear it. So that was super frustrating at the time. And so around that time is when I really, really started getting into fashion and styling and everything like that and really wanted to find like, what do I really like? Because there's so many things out here to like. You can't like everything, you can't have everything. And there's a difference between admiring something on someone else or for someone else and knowing that that's not for you. And I had to realize that with a lot of things. So let's get into the nitty gritty details on how I truly found my personal style around this time. First thing I did was I got okay with outfit repeating. Again, seeing all of these videos on Instagram and TikTok with all the different outfits, all the different trends, you feel like no one ever wears the same outfit or even the same piece at that so you feel like if you even outfit repeat and even try to take a video or a picture in that you're going to be called out but really nobody freaking cares nobody pays attention and honestly that's what clothes are for i don't believe you should buy a piece to wear at one time unless it's like your wedding dress or a prom dress i got completely okay with outfit repeating and i got really good with changing my outfits up a little bit to make them a different outfit in a way if that makes sense i also got really good at knowing when i'm being influenced to buy a piece or even to like it i have this rule for myself if i see a piece um the first time and if i basically if i don't like that piece the first time i see it it's not for me it's not something i really like um because i notice like if i see something multiple times it will kind of start to grow on me um so i kind of have that rule of thumb for myself like if i see something right away and it just like i'm drawn to it then i know i really really like it and it's really for me the next thing i did was i ditched aesthetics um for a while these um had me in a chokehold i thought they were so cool and um 
I guess they're kind of just like appealing um, to the human brain because we naturally like to put people in boxes. So that's really what an aesthetic is. You're kind of stuck in a box um, to look a certain aesthetic, um, essentially. So, you know, like the clean girl aesthetic, the, I don't know, the, I don't even freaking know what aesthetics there really are, but honestly, um, they did have me in a chokehold for a while and I was thinking about like, really diving into some of the aesthetics before I realized like I like so many different things from all of the aesthetics why not just take the things I like from those and make them my own next thing I really had to understand was my lifestyle and the location um, slash climate I live in so I'm a college student I also work and I'm a very creative person who loves to make content I love to write I love to explore in nature so naturally i kind of want like comfy clothing um but i also love fashion so i want to be stylish at the same time so i always have that in mind when i'm purchasing my clothing i love to be comfortable but also stylish and fashionable at the same time so i feel like that is my specialty i also know that in my location it gets very cold for half of the year so i have to think about that when purchasing clothing um since for half of the year it's going to be super cold, I can't buy a ton of clothing that is meant for warmer climates because it's going to be packed away for half of the year, so I always keep that in mind. Now, this next part is so, so vital to creating your personal style. You really need visuals, you need other people as inspiration. A lot of people get inspiration confused with copying. Um, copying is taking something and not changing anything about it and just like literally copying and pasting it. Um, inspiration is getting inspiration from something, you know, it's getting the juices flowing in your brain, it's giving you ideas um, from that idea that you can then pull from and make it your own. What I love to use to get style visuals is Pinterest. I find that this is the best app. You can use Instagram, but I do find it is kind of filled with a lot of the trendy things. Not to say Pinterest isn't, because it definitely is, but it has a lot more, um, it can become a lot more personalized to you the more and more you use it. So what I like to use Pinterest for is creating a style mood board. Um, you can either have one overall mood board for your entire um, overarching style, or you can have multiple mood boards. If you are a very multifaceted person like I am, um, I like to have a mood board for like maybe um, my school outfit mood board. Um, maybe you have an internship or you're going into a more professional space so you want a mood board for professional clothing or a professional outfit. Maybe you also like clubbing or going out on the weekends with your friends so you also have a mood board for kind of getting dressed up and going out. What you have to understand about creating these mood boards is not going to be overnight. You can't just sit on Pinterest for five hours and collect a whole bunch of pictures into that mood board because I feel like it won't be exactly natural to what you are naturally drawn to. I feel like if you're trying to rush and create this mood board, you're going to add things on there that you wouldn't exactly wear. And it's okay if you want to exactly wear the things you add on there. You can tweak them and make them your own. But I just feel like if you do this over time, it'll be more natural to what you really like. So I really recommend to work on this over time, maybe over a span of the month. Um, you can maybe work on it for, I don't know, 10 minutes a day. And then over the month, you can really see what you're adding in there to really see what you really like. When you're doing this, think about what you've always liked. Think about when you were a kid, what did you always wear? What did your mom have to tell you to stop wearing because you were wearing it too much? You were wearing it to the ground? You might still like things like that. It might not be the same exact thing because you were a kid, but it might be similar. Also, identify what you always gravitate to when you're getting dressed every day. For me, it's always a wide leg pair of pants and a fitted or a loose shirt, depending on the day. <laughs> Never in between. It's either a really loose shirt or a very fitted shirt. So that's usually what I tend to gravitate towards. And then when it's warm outside, I really like um, a pair of platform slides. And then when it's warmer, I like a pair of platform um, sneakers. So that's usually what I gravitate towards too. So being aware of that, you can really know what you really like on day-to-day -day basis now after it's been about a month and you've kind of created your mood board or mood boards you can go through these mood boards and find commonalities what pieces do you continuously see when scrolling through your mood board 
it might be cargo pants that that's what it is for me um a common silhouette i always see is cargo pants and like a cropped fitted shirt on my uh, mood board um so you really might like that piece or silhouette um write that down and take note of that um because that's going to be the most important thing is that you write that down so that you can remember when going shopping you might even see a commonality in an aesthetic you might see grunge or very minimalistic style you might see streetwear or very girly or clean girl look don't get too hooked on that but still take note of it because you are naturally drawn to that apparently so do take note of it but don't draw in it too much because that will leave you stuck in a box now once you have created this list of commonalities that you've drawn from your mood board on pinterest now when you go shopping next you have a list of pieces that you really like and that you're naturally drawn to and with that list when you go to the store you can pick out pieces from that list and then try them on and see how you like them on yourself because like I said earlier, you might admire and like something on somebody else, but not on yourself because you might just not like it or feel comfortable in that. So I really recommend trying these pieces on before just maybe ordering them online. You might just admire that piece on someone else and not yourself. So yeah, that is pretty much it. That's kind of how I found my personal style and how I continue to build off of it. Every once in a while, I'll go through these steps again. And when I go shopping, I have maybe a new list from my previous one. And I do this every once in a while to kind of refresh my style and see what I'm liking at the moment. Um, usually every season or maybe twice a year is usually when I do it. If you want more videos like this about fashion and styling tips, let me know down in the comments. And if you liked it, like, comment, and share with your friends. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye. No, I walk with the racks on me. Bad bitch walk back, back, and you know she throw that ass on me. I don't want that girl cause she want me. Cash on me.